The shallow, gin-clear waters of the Bahamas are a tropical paradise. A favorite spot for sport fishermen and scuba divers alike. These waters are also one of the few areas in the world where humans can regularly spend time with dolphins underwater. This is where we get the information about what the life of a wild dolphin is really about. The Wild Dolphin Project's research director and founder, Dr. Denise Herzing, has dedicated her career to immersing herself in the dolphin's world. In the wild, we deal with all sorts of challenges. Number one is weather. If we can't get to where they live, we can't see them. Number two is finding them, because they might move 20, 30 miles in a day, and it's a big ocean. And then spending regular time with individuals, if you really want to get a sense of their society, that's also challenging. We're definitely at the mercy of the dolphins. They've got interesting lives without us. They don't really need to be around us or interact with us. So when they allow us in the water to spend a little time with them, it's always a great privilege. Through decades of patient observation and meticulous photo identification, Denise has documented the lives and behaviors of multiple generations of Atlantic spotted dolphins. The group is small. We're dealing with 100 animals, so you can get repeatability in different observations. I wanted to understand their society, how they communicate with each other individually and as a group. We tend to think of higher intelligence involving things like thinking about the future, planning, problem solving, abstract concepts. Probably the one last thing on the list is language. Dolphins have shown that they can comprehend in an artificial language, things like word order and understanding. It doesn't mean they have it in their own system. That still has to be shown if it exists. This is a story about scientific exploration, but it's also a story about friendship. Dolphins are like my kids, except I don't have to send them to college. <laughs> it's cheaper that way. <laughs> what can mankind learn from wild dolphins? Can we bridge the gap of understanding between us? <laughs>